All right, guys, I'm about to do some hatching. Um, those two containers there are ready for any fry that I get, if I get any, crossing my fingers. Um, that tank is, and that tank over there. And here are my eggs that I hope <laughs> I have, I fry from. These are the same species, so that's why they're um, uh, five of them. Same species, but di two different incubation, um, whatchamacallits. I tried two different ways of incubating. I tried to incubate one at 80 degrees and another one at my room temperature. So I wanted to see which hatch rate would be better if they even hatch. So, and then I have Lily over here. I have gold, oh sorry, Bivitatum fungi on the left here and golds on the right. And you want to make sure that you do not lose your tags. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. All right, in goes the water. It's hard to do one-handed. Okay, doing more filling. Here's another. All right. Now we wait. All right, guys, it's only like 30 or 40 minutes later and we got a ton of babies. So this is awesome. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna try and find oxygen tabs, but I was just too excited and forgot to buy them. So, but we got tons of babies. You can see they're still on the ground um, for the most part. So um, after a while, I found that these guys eventually start to come up and start swimming normally after a little bit, but I'm just gonna let these guys sit. Well, it's the next morning and as you can see, there are quite a few babies that are up and about and swimming. So I'm going to try and very carefully move them to their new tank. I'm really not sure if I can do this one-handed, but basically I'm just going to carry or pick up this thing and then just pour it. And you can see how the babies stay kind of at the top above the peat. Just pour it really gently. If there are any that are still in the peat, <clears throat> then I'll use a pipette, which sucks, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And then I'll just add back tank water and then just keep this going for another couple days until babies stop showing up. So I also got a good hatch of Loey. And I just wanted to show how different the fry can look. They just ate a little bit of BBS, but you can see they're <clears throat> much harder to find. Even though there are quite a few in here, they don't glow like the golden gardener eye fry do. They're almost translucent. There, you can see them move, but they are way harder to see. So fry can look a lot different. And if you can't see them, one trick is to like kind of jiggle the container move it around, and then you'll see them moving around. All right, so I tried to film me decanting the fry one-handed, and uh, it was almost a disaster, so I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> but again, all you do is you just take it, okay, and just pour like that, and then you put water back in in one smooth motion. Um, I'm going to try and show you guys how I use a pipette to grab this one little guy that will not be poured in. He just likes to dive into the peat. So you can kind of see him. And I really hate this, so if I don't, if I'm not successful after a while, I'm just going to stop it. So you just kind of, oh, did I get him? I'm not sure if I got them, but anyway, I'm going to put that in there. And then, yeah, you just squirt it into the tank. 
I don't know if he's in here. Anyway, I think I got him. Ah, dang it. Okay, one more try. So you just kind of... Some killy guys are so good at this. Alright, I'm gonna stop trying, but you get the you get the point. You sneak up um, on them. Notice that my pipette, I cut the tip off so it's wide at the end. You definitely don't want to uh, use a pipette tip that has that is too narrow or you'll hurt your fry. So cut it wide and then all you do is suck up the fry and then put them like, like, well, like that into the tank. That's all. 